All right. You love the honey Charlotte shake. in this morning. <laughs> Charlotte's here. I'm always here. Mixing it up, yeah, it's true. <laughs> See, I think we used to do stretching in the wrong way, which is at the start of the class, we do our stretches, and the thinking behind that was to, to increase the mobility of your, lengthen your muscles, increase the mobility, so that, you know, for example, if you squat to here, then suddenly you can squat deeper, you get better results. That was the thinking, but conventional wisdom now, which I believe is right, says that when you stretch a muscle from cold, first of all, you, you probably increase the chance of snapping it, okay? We have to be pushing it hard to snap it, but you also weaken it because it's not prepared for, there's no warmth in there, you know, it's like a rubber band. When you warm it up, you get more mobility into it. Yeah. So, the idea now, what we're doing in CF, is that we're, we're going to do dynamic warm-ups, which is where we do things like body weight moves. Lots constantly of, like, moving. Constantly moving, yeah. yeah. To get the blood flow and the muscles warm. Um, and then we go into the workout. And then at the end of the workout, when the muscles might be shortened from the hard graft, um, under pressure, I mean, then we do, and they're really warm, yeah. then we do the kind of nice. static, stretchy yeah. type stuff that we're going to show you now. So this is not to be done at the start, this is to be done at the end of the workout. Yeah. To save you time, we're obviously not, if, unless you're having a really big dump, because a lot of people watch it when they're having a dump. If you're having a dump, then you might want to watch the longer <laughs> the version. Toilet. We'll release the longer version, otherwise we'll make it nice, short and snappy. We'll get into the position, and then we'll move on to the next yeah. one. So Charlotte, over All right. to you. Okay, so talking about dumps, so the first one, especially at the end of class, we'll just get everyone to drop down into the dump in the wood squat. So feet under your shoulders, and you're gonna drop down, and you're gonna sit nice and low, trying to get your elbows inside the knees. Okay, so you can push the knees out, um, out so you're kind of opening Why up you push the knees your out? hips. So what you're doing is you're getting your thigh bones to rotate out from the hips here. Yeah. So you're really stretching out through the inside of the groin. So when you squat, you're more likely to have yeah. your knees turning out. Yeah, exactly. Can so I make a point about this one, please, Charlotte? Them, yes. Okay, turn sideways on, face that way. No, that's for towards Sorry. you. Sorry. Okay. A lot of people, when they do the dump in the woods, can you just turn everything off? Right, they think it's a relaxation position. You see what she's done? She's turned everything off. It's actually an active position, straight on your back. You should be under tension. So the really key thing we see is that people come onto the insides of their feet, they drop there, they drop, they release they the tension to their back, they hunch right over and they just sit there until we say, right, next stretch. Completely missing the point of the stretch. It's an active move, tension in the lower back, tension in the hamstrings, and chest proud. It should tire you out this move and also where your weight is distributed. It's That's dumping the woods, okay? Okay, Next so, from, one. so from that position, you can then extend one leg backwards for that very simple basic lunge. Okay. okay, so my hands are just by the inside, which means I can then drop my chest nice and low. I can even go onto my elbow if I'm feeling bendy enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from the side, you're going to look like this. So opening up the yeah. groins and the... Yeah, so nice stretch through the, um, through the, the uh, split position. From there, if you drop your back knee and then just sit back, okay, your front leg now becomes straight and you're going to fold deep down the front leg. So you're now going to stretch out through your hamstrings. Okay, so that's the muscles that run down the back of your leg at the top of your thigh. Okay, so again, you're going to try and keep a nice flat back. So, so try to remember the forwards. order. She's put them in a specific order so that they run from others. So it's so dump in the woods, yeah. extended lunge into this hamstring yeah. stretch. So just go from, so flow yeah. from one to the other yeah. so you'll never forget them. And then from there, you're going to put that leg across the floor into the runner's stretch that we were doing before in the warm up. So leg horizontally across, sit up nice and straight, try and get your shoulders forwards. Then you're going to fold forwards. Okay, and this leg here, this one here, it, a lot of people, when they're in CF, they move it straight down here like diagonal. The moment you move it so that it's facing mm -hmm. this way rather than across, it takes away all of the pull yeah. through the back, through down into the glute, which is where you want the force. Okay, hips to the floor, and you're going to look up, drop your head back. From there, going into this position. Well, this is a good one. Okay, this so you're a... going to push your heels down into the floor and let your nose come through towards your knees. This is real details. Try to model the form that she's showing you. Heels towards the floor, arms out straight and chin tucked, i.e. nose down, so that her back is as long as possible. This is details, but it makes a massive difference, doesn't it, Shah? Yeah. So from there, we can basically do the same little lunge sequence. Yeah. Okay, so then we're going to bring, swing our legs round so you're seated and you're going to make an L shape with your body and then we're going to take the arm across pulling the arm across the chest keeping your body face yep. on shoulders so nice and low the, don't go with it and Stay you're going to feel a stretch just across the top of your shoulder here same thing on the other side so pulling the arm in then you're going to put your hands behind you slide your bottom forwards okay so you're going to stretch out across the chest and the shoulders from the side this is what you'll look like and again just put your bum forwards as far as you can drop the head back 
That's a nice stretch out for That's your good. chest and shoulders. Unusual one, exotic stretching with Charlotte <laughs> Dugmore. And then the very last one, and this usually feels really nice after a big stretch. Hopefully you can see me down on the floor. You're going to lie down, bend the knee up, and just let your leg fold across your body. You're going to look back towards the opposite hand, which is out to the side, and just relax there. You'll feel a nice stretch all through the lower muscles in your back, or the muscles in your lower back, I should say. And of course, then you're going to do exactly the same thing. Right. Then you're done. All right, she's good, isn't she? <laughs> told you, if I designed that, it would have been shit. Add them in, try going along with the protocol of maybe 20 seconds on, yeah. 20 to 30 seconds on, take a short break and then go again. Remember that stretching, the main thing, it's gonna lengthen those muscles, so it's gonna improve your mobility. And if you improve your mobility, you improve your range of motion, your technique gets one hell of a lot better. When we say get into this position, suddenly you're able to because your body moves open and free. And that is the key to, uh, that's yeah. why we're getting you guys to stretch. Okay, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. All the best, bye, bye. for now.